Hey, what's up you guys? Luca here from Hardstyle Kettlebell MTL and I'm going to show you how to perform the Cossack Squat which is a great way to strengthen your legs and become really flexible in your lower limbs. The Cossack Squat is also a great way to warm up if you're about to do heavier squats or kettlebell swings. So I'm going to show you how to do them using a TRX at first and then body weight and then using a kettlebell. So there are several steps to the Cossack squat. You're gonna start really easy, that's the point. And you're gonna take your time and slowly uh, build it up to something more challenging. So you can hold, have a, you could use a TRX if you have one or gymnastic rings or something sturdy like um, the side of a squat rack. So I want tension in these straps before I start. My stance is gonna be quite wide and I will initiate the movement by pushing one knee out. My knee is going to be going towards my little toes and this leg is going to remain straight and I'm going to pivot off and point my toes up. And I'm going to go come back and I'm going to alternate pushing this knee towards my little toes, pointing my toes up and I just alternate back and forth and I try to go deeper every time using the breath with every rep you try to go a little bit deeper um, this could take really weeks before you start to develop more flexibility so don't aim to go all the way down um, the first the first set or the first try or the first workout so this is as far as I can go and I keep alternating back and forth So this is pretty easy, you're holding on to the TRX for assistance and you want to work your way towards not using it at all. So just doing a body weight Cossack. So the same way, you don't have to start really hard, so you kind of work your way into it. Really driving that knee, uh, that heel out, keeping this knee straight, pushing this knee towards the little toes, tracking the knee with the foot, super important. And I come back up, Shake it in. shaking it off. The next step is using a weight. Um, the weight could actually be used as a counterweight. Now if you're top heavy, you might find that body weight is not possible. You need something to hold on to as you go down to prevent yourself from tipping backwards. So get yourself a light bell, or if you get something a little heavier, then you're going more towards strength. So here I'm using a light bell pick it up safely in a goblet position and you're going to do the same thing but as you go down push the kettlebell away from your body so I'm going to go sideways so you can see the position I slightly push it out as I go down And I set the bell back down, shaking it off. I'm gonna show you other more advanced techniques with the Cossack. This one is called prying. So once you get at the bottom there, you're gonna start by prying your hip from side to side, kind of rotating it in and out of the socket. I'm gonna do it with the kettlebell. As I go down, I'm going to stop here, sit here, and really rotate. Sit back, push my hips forward, and I'm just kind of prying, keeping my legs straight at all times, switching sides, pushing my heel away from my body sitting back, pushing my hip forward, and rotating. Up. 
So that is the prying Cossack squat. Next, if you want to make it more challenging, even more, what you're going to do is kind of create like a ceiling. Once you get at the bottom, you're going to just switch from side to side without going up and down. Watch this. From here, I'm going to pull myself to the other side. Pull myself to the other side. And from here, you could even do a kettlebell press. A lot more challenging. This is not for everyone, but you can still do the regular Cossack starting off easy. So slowly build up and allow yourself to gain more flexibility, more strength as you go. You'll be able to progress to more advanced versions of the Cossack. Enjoy guys, take care.